Uh, so this is gonna be a last scripted video. I just wanna show you guys how to record 240 FPS footage for OSU. So basically you need to have the OBS open because that's what I use. I mean, and that's what I'll be showing. So first for the settings, you would like basically choose this however you would like. And unfortunately I can't show you right now how the FPS will look but I'm gonna leave a screenshot that's gonna show how you need to set it up in order to record 240 FPS footage and for the output for recording you would at least want to have 10,000 bitrate that's what I use but you can use more or less audio tracks that doesn't really matter for you guys but the thing that matters the most will be your CPU preset and the encoder that you use now encoding can be a bit difficult to figure out so basically if you think you have a better gpu rather than a better cpu you would know you would use nvnc which is the nvidia's encoder that uses the gpu and if not just use the 264 encoder which uses your cpu for the recording format that's your choice, recording mat, your choice, everything here is your choice. But just try to get a profile. This one, just set something that doesn't like your computer because the most important thing is that when you do start recording, down here you have a message saying that your encoder is being overloaded and that means that your footage is not gonna come out right. It's gonna be really laggy or drop a lot of bitrate. So, after you're done with that, you would need to have your 240 FPS footage. So we're gonna go over right here. This is the 240 FPS one, and you would need to open up Vegas, Sony Vegas. That's what I use. So I'm gonna show you how to do it in Vegas. So the gist of it is that you can't really show anything that's high refresh rate or you can't really show 240 fps footage on on youtube like like you would think so this is the file that i used for my uh, video the 60 fps versus 240 fps video so with 240 fps you want to go to switches and have project sampling mode enabled or force with sample because resampling basically uh, smushes those 240 frames into 60 and makes this really like better looking image so if you go here you can set it in project settings as well but I would recommend not using the resampling at all for anything that's 60 fps or below because that's just gonna make a ghost image like it's gonna be ghosting and whatnot so if you see here i turned it off for the 60 fps footage because it would make it look worse but i left it for the 240 fps footage it doesn't really matter if i left it on for any of these because these are just as you can see non-moving elements so it doesn't really matter and you know if you record this like me of course you would only want to have one audio track because having two audio tracks is just gonna sound weird. <clears throat> Pardon. So, that's basically the gist of it. <clears throat> For the rendering, I personally use these settings. If they load. Sony ADC slash MVC. And I used, let's see what I used. I just grabbed this one and then altered it. And... You can see the template here so basically we want this frame rate it doesn't need to be like perfectly 60 it doesn't really matter but you see for the audio it doesn't really matter you of course want to have audio this doesn't matter at all so yeah you would just want these settings if you want you can use others but this is what i use with maxed out bit rate so it turns out good and the result of this render you can see on my YouTube channel right here. I'm just opening it up. So yeah, this video is basically what turned out from this. So if you think that you're unsure of what's gonna happen when you finish 
you can just check my video and that's basically it there is nothing much to it and yeah thanks for watching